Madam President. Senator from Indiana is recognized. Madam President, in case anyone was wondering, there are 16 days left before Christmas. 16 shopping days. Now, I know I still have some shopping to do, and uh, I look forward to that. But it seems as though some of my colleagues have a jump on me. It seems as though President Biden has a jump on me, and that's good thinking. Because this year, you can't start too early with the supply chain as bad as it is and the price of presents rising. So why don't we gather around the Christmas tree to see what gifts national Democrats are prepared to pass out on Christmas morning thanks to their reckless tax and spending spree. To the left-wing labor unions, what do they offer? Democrats are gifting billions of dollars in handouts to strengthen this core constituency of theirs. While they're letting charitable tax deductions expire in Build Back Better, They've gift-wrapped an above-the-line tax deduction for union dues. Let's see what we have here. Well, that's a car. That's a car. And this is the labor union present. Hmm. It's a special Christmas surprise. It seems that the Democrats have put under the tree a shiny new tax credit for electric vehicles. But only if those vehicles are made in a union shop. Only a union shop. You see, if you're naughty and you buy an electric vehicle from a non-union shop, like those that are made in my state of Indiana, you'll miss out on the Democrats' $4,500 holiday giveaway in this bill. Apparently, during the Christmas season, the impact of electric vehicles on climate change only matters if the workers' contracts are collectively bargained. Which brings us to another gift we have. That's China. China has a gift under the tree. Why don't we just open this China gift? Well, that's a lot of money. The tax hikes on businesses large and small in this bill will give China an unfair competitive advantage. Increased taxes on American employers by more than $800 billion when they're already struggling with supply chain issues and worker shortages. This is going to do very little to bring jobs back home, jobs of the future to here in the United States of America, which is exactly why the Chinese Communist Party and all of its leaders will love this very expensive gift. And the largest gift under uh, the Washington Democrats' tree goes to, is that, could that be? It says the rich. I'm going to see what's in there. Well, this must mean, it says salt, by dramatically increasing the cap on the state and local tax deduction, or what's, what's known around here as salt for short, the once proud party of the working class is giving a tax cut to two-thirds of people earning more than one million dollars a year. Now the average size of that tax cut is almost seventeen thousand dollars a year for millionaires. This is the new Democratic Party. Merry Christmas. This is the single most expensive tax expenditure in the Build Back Better Act. And it's the second biggest component of the entire bill. So evidently, the National Democrats believe it's better to give than to receive from millionaires. So they proposed a tax cut for the wealthiest Americans from the wealthiest cities in the wealthiest states, gift-wrapped, from the Democratic Party. So after the handouts and giveaways and entitlements and the earmarks, what's left for regular middle class working stiffs? Well, we know that the really big gifts come in smallest packages, so I see a uh, stocking here. It says taxpayers on it. Let me see what's in that. Oh, my word. That looks like coal. A lump of coal. Well, that lump of coal must represent 
the massive $367 billion that will be added to the debt by the Democrats' reckless tax and spending bill according to the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office. Not to mention the 10 years of tax increases included in the bill to pay for only a few years of policy changes. Of course, we all know that figure is going to be much higher in reality. If all the temporary provisions in this bill are made permanent, it will increase our budget deficit by nearly $3 trillion this decade. It seems that Democrats want our children and grandchildren to pay for this bundle of goodies through the layaway plan. GDP is expected to fall because of Build Back Better. The cost of living is expected to rise even more because of Build Back Better. And despite the promises of, of President Biden and my Democratic colleagues, but despite their votes right here on this floor, if Build Back Better were to become law, taxes would be raised on lower and middle class Americans who are just trying to get by this Christmas season. Ho, ho, ho. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this Christmas season, Democrats are not offering holiday jobs or good cheer. Instead, this feels more like the, the nightmare before Christmas. Colleagues, the best present all of us can give the American people is to do whatever is in our power to stop the Build Back Better Act.